Hello there. Today's topic is patterns with fractions. And we're going to be focusing on tenths and hundredths. Let's look at a simple example of creating a pattern from a description. We'll start with 3 over 10. And we're given that the numbers are increasing by 1 tenth. What are the numbers that come after? Well, all we need to do is to add one tenth each time. Remember that when adding fractions with the same denominator, all you need to do is to add the numerators together. So 3 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 4 over 10. 4 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 5 over 10. 5 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 6 over 10. And 6 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 7 over 10. Let's now look at an example where we first need to find the pattern before continuing it. We'll start with the numbers 17 over 100, 14 over 100, and 11 over 100, and we want to continue the pattern. First, we need to find the pattern by looking at the numbers we have. To go from 17 over 100 to 14 over 100, we need to subtract 3 over 100. To go from 14 over 100 to 11 over 100, we also need to subtract 3 over 100. So the pattern description is that the numbers are decreasing by 3 over 100. Now we can continue the pattern. 11 over 100 minus 3 over 100 is 8 over 100. And 8 over 100 minus 3 over 100 is 5 over 100. Let's look at something similar involving mixed fractions now. We'll start with the numbers 7 tenths, 1 and 1 tenth, and 1 and 5 tenths. And we want to continue the pattern. Again, we'll first need to find the pattern by looking at the numbers we have. Now remember that when adding mixed fractions, we add together the fractional parts and increase the whole number part accordingly so that the fraction part is always a proper fraction. That is, the numerator is always smaller than the denominator. How do we get from 7 tenths to 1 and 1 tenth? Well, to increase the whole number part by 1, we need to add 3 tenths. Then, to get the remaining 1 tenth fraction, we need to add another tenth. So, to get from 7 tenths to 1 and 1 tenth, we need to add 4 tenths. Now, how do we get from 1 and 1 tenth to 1 and 5 tenths? This is a little easier because the whole number part isn't changing. We just need to add 4 tenths. Since we've added 4 tenths both times, we can say that the numbers are increasing by 4 tenths. Now, we can continue the pattern. 1 and 5 tenths plus 4 tenths is 1 and 9 tenths. And 1 and 9 tenths plus 4 tenths is going to increase the whole number part giving 2 and 3 tenths. Let's look at one final example. Patterns don't always have to be subtraction and addition. We'll start with 3 over 100, and we're told to multiply the numbers by 2 each time. Now, let's find the numbers that come after. Remember that if you multiply a fraction by a whole number, you just need to multiply the numerator. 3 over 100 times 2 is 6 over 100, because 3 times 2 is 6. Similarly, 6 over 100 times 2 is 12 over 100. 12 over 100 times 2 is 24 over 100. And 24 over 100 times 2 is 48 over 100. Let's bring it all together in Let's Learn. If we want to complete a pattern, we first need to find the pattern. This might be given to us, 
Or you might have to look at the list of numbers to find the pattern. Once we found the pattern, we can continue the pattern. And that's how you complete patterns with fractions.